Greetings and welcome to Founder's Fortune. I'm Catherine Sky, and I am so excited to be playing this game for you. This is a very, very, very alpha game. This is pre-Kickstarter alpha. So what happened is the developers sent me uh, to the website, said, hey, can you try our game? And I tried it and it's so fun. And you can try it too, because right now um, you can download the game for free. Uh, the, the devs are looking for um, feedback and stuff and check out their Discord server. I went because I saw this amazing, amazing town and I was like, wow, this is far beyond what I had practiced with in my practice game. And everybody there in the Discord is so friendly. So anyway, I wanted to play this for you because it really is kind of cool. It is a colony builder. And we're going to get some resources and do some fun things. So let's start a brand new game. Now, there are three different difficulties already. Uh, we have a calm world, which is basically it's really impossible to die. Um, I chose to go on an exciting world. Um, so we have typical Founders Fortune experience mixing base building with survival. Colony starts with 40 meals. Sometimes colonists may die, even though you try your best. Or we go with a dangerous world. The world is a harsh place, so good luck trying to survive with fragile little colonists. Your colonists take 50% more damage from all kinds of injuries. The colony starts with 10 meals and colonists get hungry more qui more quickly. Excuse me. Catastrophes happen more often. A challenge for veteran players. I think we should go with the exciting world. I have played a little bit of this game, um, but I don't know <laughs> if there's really bad, bad stuff ahead. Uh, so let's just go ahead and go with this. And first of all, we are able to select our first two colonists. We have um, Michael Muller at the moment. He has good health and he's allergic to potatoes. So we have little um, mouse over tip, tool tips with this. So a lifetime of exercise and healthy foods has provided Michael with a very robust health. Treatments are 20% more likely to succeed. That's great. And he's also allergic to potatoes. So he'll avoid dishes that contain potatoes. If he's forced to eat it anyway, he's going to have an allergic reaction. That sounds bad. He also has one star in soldiering. Um, so these are different skills that we're going to need to survive in the world here. We have farmers, uh, we have foresters. So farmers um, plant crops, harvest crops, uh, gather stuff from bushes and stuff like that, gather tree fruit, um, and they also cook. Foresters uh, cut down trees, yep, and also plant saplings. Miners gather stones, mine for iron and collect crystals. Craftsmen, they um, produce different kinds of, of so far that I saw they produce different weapons it says goods as well soldiers keep our colonies safe and they can use advanced weapons doctors try to heal our people and scholars do all of the research so we have two different colonists that we can whoa wow forester and scholar Ooh, Andreas I think we're gonna take you uh, but has two negative qualities. Glass, glass half empty kind of guy. Receive a permanent mood penalty. That's not ideal. He also has insomnia, has trouble sleeping, and doesn't rest as well as others. Takes double the time to rest fully compared to others. Oh, this is hard. But I happen to know that if you give the people what they want, they earn sort of life... Um, I don't know what you call them, aspiration points. It's almost like the Sims where you kind of give them what they want and then you can even remove negative traits if you want to. I think we're gonna choose a different person here. Let's see, fast learner and a killer. Okay, fast learner is, he can learn new skills in half the time. That's awesome. Killer, he has a strange interest in violence. Gets positive thoughts from killing. Usually, usually able to control himself what happens when he doesn't go away all right this person he's dumb oh dear unfortunately thinking has never been his strong suit he will not gain experience and not level in any job ever oh <gasps> no okay so no we're not gonna take him um he can't wait to get another bowl of delicious pumpkin stew they also get mood benefits from that kind of a thing um, let's see. We have a survivalist, an overeater. I want somebody with some uh, some stuff. Oh, okay. Miner and a scholar. This guy is a scholar and a forester. Ha, ah, that's a hard one. But a miner is a good one to take. Farmer is also a really good one to have in the very beginning. I think we'll take Thomas and we'll take Andreas. Okay, so let's start the game. Alrighty. We arrive in this beautiful land here. 
Um, it's an island, as we come to find out. Uh, not a very big one, but still enough. We're just sort of landing here. And we're kind of watching <laughs> watching the clouds. Uh, so we're going to teach our colonists what to do, first of all. But firstly, I would like to actually rename them. I believe... Can I? Can I rename you? Yes, I can. Okay. So these guys are going to be renamed after, um, well, two of our, our patrons. Um, and these are... Um, let's see. Who shall you be? I think you're going to be Kyle Neath. Welcome, Kyle, to our colony. And Andreas is his real name. And he's actually just been living under a pseudonym. He is going to be... Let's see. Let's name you Mathis. All right. Welcome, Mathis, to the colony. So these two are going to be building our colony. Now we can look over and we see something very interesting over here. These... Uh, people creatures i think are some kind of a trolls yeah tiki goblins they're tiki goblins and they're gonna come and attack us every now and again so uh you know we don't want to venture too close to this area over here but we're, we're actually not that far so what we can do is start by harvesting some of the goods here and maybe start building a building of some kind maybe out here um, in that area, that seems like a nice central location to start building some houses. Um, so what we need to do first is, oh, I think we're going to get a, ah, yes, a bonfire. We need a bonfire. So it's, it's actually giving us a tutorial, which is nice. So what we can do is look at our people and they each have expectations. Like they want good food, uh, or, well, I should say Mathis wants good food and he also expects a better home. So he wants to own a sleeping spot. Now, he also wishes to get a basket for raw food in the colony and a research book stand because he's like, yo, we need tech here. Uh, Kyle, um, on the other hand, he has kind of similar needs here and he wishes for a sleeping spot. So by giving him a sleeping spot, we are going to fulfill his wish and we're going to give him some satisfaction points here. Now, uh, I noticed mm -hmm. that um, as I was pulling up the uh, the name list um, that there was he had something satisfied here, something proc there and so we can see what happens when they get a certain number of points now he needs 180 small points to get one big point and so these are the big points you can remove the bad traits or remove any traits i suppose you can uh, and then add other traits here you can add optimus good health experience in battle all these kinds of things um if you want to so we're going to probably play around with that as soon as we get the ability to do so but it does take quite a lot to fill up that satisfaction bar so let's go ahead and start um well then we have a miner and we can give them a specialization so when we look at this, we can see that he is the miner. Okay, so Kyle is a miner, but what I want him to do is I want him actually to be a farmer for now. So we're gonna change him quickly to be a farmer because I want him to gather stuff. Uh, he has no points, but at the next level, he can sow strawberries, cook in the kitchen. So Kyle, I'm gonna ask you to go here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. yeah, good, good. Gather apples, there you go. All right, and then uh, Mathis, you are a great forester. Wow, look at that next level. 60% more wood out of trees. That is amazing. All right, I'm going to ask you to cut some trees. So we're going to have them go do stuff. I love their outfits. They're so cute. So another thing about this game, there is a huge update coming at the end of May. So I thought I'd play this version. And then when the new version comes out, we're going to see the differences and see how far the game comes in kind of a short period of time. And um, we, uh, I know that there's going to be traders coming. They're going to be different outfits, i.e. there are some hairstyles that look more feminine. So we, maybe we could have lady colonists as well. Um, and then there's a trader, we can make goods and sell them. And uh, so that's gonna be really exciting. And there's there are other things as well. So, oh yeah, I forgot. So are you catching, Where? what are you doing? Let's see. Ah, yes, you're gathering cotton. Cotton is really important because um, what we need to do, they, they want us to build a bonfire, but we need to get, okay, we have the wood. Okay, let's do that. Let's get the bonfire and we'll put it over here. How about that? And then we need to make a couple of sleeping bags for these two. 
So we'll put them there. Good, good. And we already have the cotton for that. And then a basket for raw food. I think we're going to put that maybe... Ooh. I want to put that maybe here for now. And then we'll put in a... Like a seat for them, a bench, so that they can sit down and eat. I know they like to do this. It's a fun thing. All right, so that's going to be our temporary eating arrangement. Then they can maybe sleep over here. I don't know. Maybe I should just delete these. I don't know if I'll get my cotton back if I delete them, though. Let's see. Let's see. We have three cotton. Yes, we do get it back. Okay, that's great. But the bonfire can stay here because I happen to know that the ship that drops off the colonists is over there. So let me go ahead and put down the sleeping spots, maybe over here instead, kind of near near the um, near the foods things. There we go. That'll be fine. Okay, great. So what's going to happen is that when they're doing stuff, they do get bonuses for... Um, for being a profession and they will also go and do the thing okay so he's actually gaining xp in farming for now um and they uh, will automatically do those kinds of tasks so at the moment it's very important to collect food and to collect the um cotton for the future and so this um this person here mathis is going to go and do all the chopping we're going to need a ton of wood but i think as soon as um he's done with this uh log here or this stump i'm going to send him to construct stuff because since we already we already paid for these items so he can just go ahead and kind of bang it together with a hammer and he'll be he'll be good here here sorry go and construct please there you go yep hello good stuff and he's already 160 xp into the next level of forestry excellent so i think he's gonna go over there and construct those other things because they seem to do like a couple of tasks at a time um yep there we go wish fulfilled that's great so what was your wish that we got i don't know if what we got but we did something <laughs> we made oh he might have been the one who wanted the food basket that's right okay and so they both want a sleeping spot hopefully get this stuff done by the end of the night there they go so in order for them to get a sleeping spot we're going to click on the sleeping spot and we'll give it to each person. So one for Kyle and then one for Mathis. And as you can see, they turn dark blue. So both of them had a wish fulfilled. Yay. Okay. So we can open the help menu with a button in the top right corner if we need more information. Okay. That's, I think, this one here. And I actually read through all of these different kinds of things. And uh, it's really nice kind of help stuff uh, that you can look through at your leisure. As I said, the game is free right now and you can play this if you want to. It's a lot of fun. The link is in the description below, by the way, and you can check it out. OK, so where are you going? What are you going to do? Oh, so anyway, he's a forester. So his next thing after he ran out of construction things, he's like, oh, I'm going to go and chop trees because this is my my life here. Now, he's a bit pessimistic, so he, he has a mood hit there. Okay, we need a research book stand. That's going to be very important as well. So what are you doing? You're just resting? Having a bit of a rest? Okay, so his new wish is to get a bedroom, and then we want a research book stand. That's you, okay. And you want to talk to Kyle. Okay, we'll go and talk to Kyle. How about you do that? And you can also kill people, as you saw. But talking is one of the easiest things to um, to fulfill. He now wants to sit on a chair. So let's go and have him sit. Mm -hmm. And you are the miner, I think. So let's make sure we have food. We have, all right, 27 apples, 15 tomatoes, and 10 pumpkins. Now, one thing that I don't know yet is, do they lose the XP if we change him to, say, a miner? Because he really needs to be a miner. Oh, wait, he already has 150 up to the next one. Farmer. No, he doesn't change XP. That's really nice. Okay. So for research, we're going to need these bright blue crystals. We'll have Kyle go after those um, crystals and that'll make it a lot easier. Mathis, do we have enough wood to build a research stand? I think we probably do. So let's go ahead and do that. It's under the work thing. So we'll add this here and then very shortly we're going to... Oh. Ah, it needs to be placed in a finished room. I didn't, I wasn't aware of that. Okay, so tomorrow morning, we are going to have our colonists build structures. We're going to build something here, um, maybe a, um, a research room and a couple of bedrooms for them. 
And I think that would be a good, a uh, good time for them to have, you know, an enjoyable life. So they're going to sleep a bit. Now, as we're going to find out, uh, people have different sleep schedules, especially if they have insomnia. So there might be people up at any time of day, but these two are sleeping at the same time. And, um, you know, they're just doing that. So what is the bonfire for the bonfire? What is this? Oh, that's the moon. Sort of the, sh the shine of the moon reflection on the water. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right. So, <laughs> yep. Kyle is up early and he's going to do some stuff. Probably going to go mining. Uh, all right. How to build walls and floors. Right. We're going to build those in just a second. But the bonfire is for attracting new colonists. And um, so, yeah. Next chance for migrants in less than two minutes. Great. And this kind of attracts visitors from far and wide, but it also marks our colony just in case, you know, and it's like, um, it could be a scary thing if enemies find us. Okay, let's cut this tree and I want you, actually, we'll just yep. pick you by the menu here. We'll mine that stone so that we can just get this stuff out of the way. And I want to start building a proper kind of place, build maybe a research and, um, Whatchamacallit. Well, you know what? I'll build first. I want to build their bedrooms first. Let's do that. Let's go with, say, I don't know, six. Six big enough? Six by six? For now? Let's do that. And we'll build them together. Six. Cross there and down. Yay. And then we'll build the other, like a workroom maybe right next to it. So that'll be in one big building like this. There we go. And then we can go ahead and install some doors. So let's put one door here. And then I want their bedroom doors that can be maybe here and there. So that we can have these areas open as well. I think I'll put a door on this side. Yep, that sounds fine. Okay, good. I like this idea. So we also can have stone walls as well. And there are many other styles of walls as well um, to get, you know, these kind of stucco ones with the wood. All right, there we go. Looking good. Now he's getting rid of this block, which is awesome. Migrants arrived. Wow. Okay. Send a colonist to accept them. All right. So who do we have here? Okay. Yep. Mathis, why don't you go and say hi? We'll accept you into our colony. Oh, are you coming? Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. All right. So who do we have here? We have Jorgen, but I think his name is actually something else. I think his name might be Laffy Taffy. Welcome Laffy Taffy to the colony. All right, save the, uh, save the name and let's see what Laffy Taffy is good at. <gasps> wow, Laffy Taffy is a great craftsman. This is good. This is pretty darn good. But at the moment, I'm going to change him to be a farmer. So we can also choose the specialization and say, do we want him to tend to the fields, cook food, gather cotton, harvest apples? The answer is yes, we want him to do all of those things. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, we do need the research book stand. So at the moment, can we ask him to do the constructing, maybe? Um, let's see. Doctor, scholar, craftsman. Let's see. It doesn't say. I'm not sure if... I think... Oh, did I read somewhere that all of the, the colonists do constructing? I don't remember, to be honest. But they might. But they, they are certainly going at it now. Yay. <laughs> so now we need another bedroom. All right. Uh, why don't we add another bedroom down here, maybe? Oh, it could be on the other side of this. This will be like our main building. How about that? Six. Go here. And then we'll add another wall there. I'm going to run out of wood, I'm sure. Oopsies. There we go. All right. We have one wood left. We can't even make a door. <laughs> Oh, well, can we replace this though? Let's see. No, can't need 10 wood. All right. 
Sadness is, is here. It'll be fine. All right. Well, they're they're working away here. I hope this rock is shrinking. I can't even tell, to be honest. Uh, we can also make flooring, but at the moment, that is costing so much wood, I don't even want to get there. So we're going to have to get all this stuff done real quick. In fact, I think I'm going to send uh, Mathis. Here you can also see their profession. So he can go and work on cutting trees. Kyle, as you see, there's a rock from mining and Laffy Taffy is the farmer. Wait, we did leave him as a farmer, right? Yeah, we did. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to need all of this cotton as well because you need a ton of cotton to make beds, uh, which we will research to get later. Now, at the moment, they just store um, the items in sort of cloud storage, I guess we'll call it. <laughs> very internet-y um so they don't have like proper stockpiles yet but i believe that that is coming in the next uh version i was i was in the discord and pestering the, the devs about all this stuff but they were so nice um and so happy to talk about the game and they're really really cool people so um i'm pretty oh no they have to sleep on the outside no the sadness is real but anyway, um, it was really fun to kind of share stories and, and talk about things and talk about the game. And um, yeah, it's, it's great. I really enjoy colony builder type games. Uh, so this looks like it might kind of scratch that itch. All right, we need to gather research. I know, I know, we need a finished room to gather research. Hold on. But what we're going to do is we're going to kind of... Um, move these sleeping bags into the rooms let's see you're the farmer you're getting the cotton perfect that's great and these other two are asleep okay he's gonna keep on working on that piece of stone i wonder if i have to like what if that's ever gonna go away I don't really want that stone. <laughs> I really want... You know what? We'll leave that stone there. We might even... Let's make a garden around it. How about that? Let's make a, a nice garden. So when he's done eating, we'll just send him after this uh, crystal up here instead. Okay, and then we are getting some more wood. And I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see... I really don't want to have them locked in. So we're going to just put doors here and there. And then we're going to get our... Let's see, we need the working thing. Now, most of the things that we have here... Let's go ahead and make maybe two research stands. Um, we do have all kinds of things, but most of them are locked at the moment. So we have some seating, some tables, storage, and some decoration. The plants are really very pretty. Um, and then life-wise, we have some sleeping bags and graves, bonfires, uh, things, stuff, etc. Let's go ahead and get a sleeping bag here for somebody. And I think we just have to delete the others. So we'll just uh, add them here like this. Okay. So I'm going to take you and why don't you go ahead? Oh, well, he's building stuff. Okay, after he eats, I think we'll go and have you construct things. Because somebody's going to need to start working on that research. And we're going to need crystals to, to study for that research. Can you construct this, please? Okay, wish fulfilled. All right. Now then, um, we have... What else do we want here? Sleeps inside... Um, and we need to get life satisfaction level one. Okay. We already have that. That's great. So I think I'm going to transfer all of their wishes here. Here, you construct this, please. And then we're going to send everybody, give them their own beds. He already has one point of rewards, which is great. This is a good thing. Um, all right. So why don't you go ahead and research things? I think you used to be a researcher or wait, not this. No, go away. Uh, let's see. We need to go to the job menu instead and change your job back to or to a scholar. So you're going to analyze crystals, but I don't want you to mine them. So you go and study something when I research 
select the research. Okay, we have farming or we have woodworking. Now farming is going to get us the very necessary soil for tomatoes and potatoes. Otherwise, we can't actually farm any crops. So I think that's going to be the most important thing first. Um, and then we're going to go for woodworking. We get simple wooden dressers, barrels, toolmaker workshop, which is super important if we're to defend ourselves. And then we can go for furniture one where we can get our uh, simple uh, simple wooden bench and I almost thought it said simple wooden bench bed, but the bed part is the operative word there. So let's get farming first and then we can, uh, oops, excuse me, go analyze, go. And then our farmer guy is going to work on those walls while we're analyzing the crystals. So you see a little pro this is, this is the coolest thing ever. Like when you zoom in, like the walls come down. This is just kind of hilarious. It's great though. Uh, anyway, you can see the little progress pie chart, little thingy majingy there on his, um, in, in his mind, whether he's done or not. And he's, he's doing stuff. So we can probably ask, let's see, Kyle is the miner. Laffy Taffy, where, where are you by the way? Where did you go? Hello? Aha, you're doing stuff. You're gathering more stuff. That's great. But I think we can have you um, analyzing crystals for now. I'm not going to change his job at the moment. Let's see. Okay, farming is unlocked. Yay. Oh, no, actually, isn't he a... No, he's a craftsman. Okay, that's fine. Uh, all right, so you do that. Yep. You go ahead and change yourself to back to a forester. Um... Oh, wait, we forgot to select the research. Woodworking, yay. So we'll get that. And actually, instead of worrying about that, oops, okay. Um, I want to have you, uh, we want to build some fields for you so that you can um, start, you know, making proper, proper foods for us. So we have a shelf for food um, and we can also build a campfire with which we can, um, uh, harvest well we can cook the food and that's going to go into the cooked food here a colonist will take cooked food over raw food every time colonists get happy thoughts from eating cooked food so that is one of the things that we're going to do with this let's see where is the thing that i just went by we have soil for tomatoes and for potatoes now what i want to look for is do these people have any allergies? Okay, bad health. Oh no, Laffy Taffy. Oh, 20% more likely to fail. But he's tireless. Doesn't need much sleep. Rests half as long as the others before he's completely fit again. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't have any allergies. Oh, okay. So Kyle has an allergy to potatoes. That's kind of inconvenient, but it's okay. We're going to go ahead and plant some farms out here. You know what? We'll make this maybe a little tiny farming garden. Let's try to do that. Okay, so soil for potatoes. We're gonna do a couple of rows of this. Let's see. Let's put them, I wanna have a room for like maybe a fence here. But we have like no wood to plan with here. So let's just do one, uh, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll also do tomatoes. So one, two three four five okay they're on the different alignment but it's fine anyway it's fine um and it also tells us what season they grow in so this is spring summer and these are uh summer fall you can tell by the icons in the upper left and this is where we are so we're almost actually out of spring and into summer so we're gonna miss some of the tomato season but that's okay so let's get our farmer person laffy taffy please go ahead and work on these things and um yeah we should get all of that stuff done in fact i'm gonna ask you to help construct these things mathis if you could there we go and that way they can both kind of work on that and those will get ready to be sewn by uh, Laffy Taffy as he kind of completes his work thing. But I think this is actually probably a really good time to end the episode for today. We need to also assign them their beds in a bit, but uh, we have no more time for this episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.